power of attorney for USA power of attorney an important part of lifetime planning is the power of attorney a power of attorney is accepted in all states but the rules and requirements different from state to state a power of attorney gives one or more persons the power to act on your behalf as your agent the power may be limited to a particular activity such as closing the sale of your home or be general in its application the power may give temporary or permanent authority to act on your behalf. The power may take effect immediately or only, only upon the occurrence of a future event. Usually a de determination that you are unable to act for yourself due to mental or physical disability. The latter is called a springing power of attorney. Power of attorney may be revoked, but most states require written notice of revocation to the person named to act for you. The person named in a power of attorney to act on your behalf is commonly referred to as your agent or attorney. In fact, with a valid power of attorney, your agent can take any action permitted in the document. Often, your agent must present the actual document to invoke the power. For example, if another person is acting on your behalf to sell an automobile, the motor vehicles department generally will require that the power of attorney be presented before your agent's authority to sign the title will be honored similarly an agent who signs documents to buy or sell real property on your behalf must present the power of attorney to the little title company similarly the agent has to present the power of attorney to a bro broker or banker to effect the sale of securities or opening and closing bank accounts however your agent generally should not need to present the power of attorney when signing checks for you why would anyone give such sweeping authority to another person one answer is convenience if you are buying or selling assets and do not wish to appear in person to close the transaction you may take advantage of a power of attorney another important reason to use power of attorney is to prepare for situations when you may not be able to act on your uh, your own behalf due to absence or in incapacity such a disability may to be temporary for example due to travel accident or illness or it may be permanent if you do not have a power of attorney and become unable to manage your personal or business affairs it may become necessary for a court to appoint one or more people to act for you people appointed in this manner are referred to as guardians Converse, uh, conservators or commit, uh, committees depending upon your local state law if a court proceeding sometimes known as invention in is needed you may not have the ability to choose the person who will act for you few people want to be subject to a public proceeding in this manner so being so being proactive to create the appropriate document to word this is this is manner so being proactive to create the appropriate document award this is important a power of attorney allows you to choose who will act for you and it defines his or her authority and its limits if any in some in instances create security against having a guardianship imposed on you may be achieved by you also creating a revocable living trust who should be your agent you may wish to choose a family member uh, member to act on your behalf many people name their spouses or one or more children it naming more than one person to act as injured to the same time by be alert to the possibility that all may not be available to act when needed or they may not agree the designation of co agents should indicate whatever you wish to have the majority act in the absence of full availability and agreement regardless of whether you, uh, uh, you whether you 
नेम को एजेंट्स यू शुड ऑलवेज नेम वन और मोर सक्सेसर एजेंट टू एड्रेस द पॉसिबिलिटी डेट द पर्सन यू नेम एज एजेंट मे बी अन अवेलेबिलिटी और अनएबल टू एक्ट वेन द टाइम्स कम्स देर आर नो स्पेशल क्वालिफिकेशन नेसेसरी फॉर सम वॉन्ट टू एक्ट एज एन अटॉर्नी इन फैक्ट एक्सेप्ट डैट द पर्सन मस्ट नॉट बी ए माइनर और अदरवाइज अनकैपिकेटेड द बेस्ट चॉइस इज सम वन यू ट्रस्ट इंटेग्रिटी नॉट फाइनेंशियल अक्यूमन इज ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्रेट ऑफ ए पोटेंशियल एजेंट How the agent should sign? Assume Michael Douglas appoints his wife Catherine Zeta Jones as his agent in a written power of attorney. Catherine, as agent, must sign as follows: Michael Douglas by Catherine Zeta Jones under power of attorney, or Catherine Zeta Jones attorney, in fact, for Michael Douglas. If you are ever called upon to take actions as someone's agent, you should consult with. and tony about <clears throat> action you can you can and cannot take whether there are any pa precautionary steps you should take to minimize the like the like likelihood of someone challenging your actions this is especially important if you take action that that directly or indirectly benefits your personally what kind of power should i give my agent in addition to managing your day to day financial affairs your attorney in fact can take steps to implement your estate plan although an agent cannot advise your will on your behalf some just uh, some just some jury selection may payment on at or any in fact to create or amend trust for your during your lifetime or to transfer your assets to trust your created even without attending you uh, your will or creating trust an agent and affect the outcome of how your assets are distributed by changing the ownership title or assets it is it is prudent to include in the power of attorney a clear statement of whatever you wish your agent to have these powers gifts are an important <clears throat> tool for many estate plans and your attorney in fact can make gifts on your behalf subject to guidelines that you are you set forth in your power of attorney for example you may be sure premier your attorney in fact to make annual exclusion gifts up to 14000 us dollars in value per recipient per year in 2013 on your behalf to your children and grandchildren it is important that the lawyer who prepares your power of attorney drafts the document in way dear dad does not expose your attorney in fact to unintended estate tax consequences while some states permit attorneys in fact to to make gifts as a matter of states say of matter statutes other require applicate authorization in the power of attorney an unintended estate tax consequences while some states Permit attorneys, in fact, to make gifts as a matter of statute. Other require uh, explicit authorization in the power of attorney. If you have elder documents, all the documents you should review them with your attorney because of the high estate tax tax exploitation. Fifty five million U.S. dollars inflation adjusted may people who had given agents the right to make gifts may may no longer wish to include the power. Others, however, in order in order to empower their agent to minimize state 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 tax, might continue or add such a power. Finally, they finally there may be. Finally, there may be reasons not to limit the gifts to your attorney. Your attorney, in fact, may make to annual exclusion gift in order to facilitate medical planning or, or to minimize or avoid state state tax beyond what annual exclusion gifts alone might permit. 
In addition to the power of your agent to make gifts on your behalf, many powers of your attorney, in fact, are gov gov governed by state law. Generally, the law of the state is which you reside at the time you sign a power of attorney will govern the powers and actions of your agent under the under that documents if you own real estate such as vacation home or valuable personal property such as collectibles in a second state you should check with an attorney to make sure that your power of attorney properly covers such properties what i move generally a power of attorney that is valid you when you sign it will remain valid if, even if you change your state of residence although it should not be necessary to sign a new power of attorney merely because you you have moved to a new state it is a good idea to take the opportunity to update your power of attorney the update ideally should be part of a review and update of your overall state plan to be sure that that nonsense uh, nonsense of the new state law and any other changes in circumstances that have occurred since your existing documents were signed are addressed will my power of attorney expire some states used to some states some states used to require the renewal of a power of attorney for continuing validity today must states permit a durable power of attorney that remains valid once signed you until you die or revoke the documents you should pro procedurally meet with your lawyer however to revisit your power of attorney and consider whether your choice of agents still meets you needs and and learn whatever developments in state law affect your power of attorney some powers of attorney expressly include termination dates to minimize to risk the power to former friends or spouses continuing to serve a as agents it is vital that you review the continued uh, effect effectiveness of your documents procedurally what is an international power of attorney a power of attorney is a legal document that gives someone else your attorney the the power to act on your behalf if you are living in one country but have property and finances in another country you may need to arrange for a power of attorney for someone your attorney to act as your representative and manage your property and finances this is also known as an international power of attorney or an overseas power of attorneys for example you you regularly reside to in ontario but you bought a holiday home in spain you may need to appoint a power of attorney in spain to take care of your holiday home or you recently moved to ontario from australia from for a year and you need to appoint a power of attorney in australia to manage your finances in this blog post we will be discuss discussing international powers of attorneys for property and how you can get one in ontario in ontario power of attorney is for property a continuing power of attorney for property lets your attorney manage your financial affairs and allows the person you name your name to act for you even if you becomes mentally incapable this including this includes managing your bank accounts making bill and rent payments and making purchases on your behalf a continuing power of attorney for property means that a person you trust will be able to oversee your finances when you are unable to a non continuing power of attorney for property lets your attorney manage your financial affairs and allows the person you name to act for you in a specific situation for a specific length of time you can out outline to specific task your attorney is allowed to do on your behalf and for how long non continuing powers of attorney for property are commonly used when a person is going out of the country a, a resides in a different country and needs someone to take care of their fi finances and properties while they are away 
Step 1. Prepare the international power of attorney. A power of, a power of attorney is govern, governed by the laws of the country where the power of attorney will be used. For example, if you are appointing a power of attorney to take care of your financial matters in Vietnam, the power of attorney must comply with the laws in Vietnam. Every country has its own legal requirements for powers of attorneys. This may include specific forms or formats, wording and signing requirements. The best way to ensure that your international power of attorneys meets the local legal requirements is to have a lawyer in the in that juris, jurisdiction write the power of attorneys for you. Step 2. Sign and notarize your power of attorney. Generally, international powers of attorney must be notarized to verify that the signature on the document is real. Notarizing your power of attorney is simple. You sign the power of attorney in front of a notary and the notary then signs and seals it. It's, it's a good idea to ask your lawyer to provide clear instructions for signing and notarizing your international power of attorneys. For example, it may be a legal requirement for the power of attorney to be signed with a specific color of ink or it may require more than one witness. Your international power of attorneys may also need to be authenticated by authenticated and legalized. The process is also known as apostille authentication and legalization in the process used to make documents notarized and Canada valid for you for you for use outside of Canada this is equivalent to apostille which is not performed in Canada if you are not sure if your international power of attorney needs to be authenticated and legalized or apostilled, ask the lawyer who prepared your international power of attorney. Can downtown notary help me with my international power of attorney? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Downtown notary can easily notarize your international power of attorney. If you need your international power of attorney authenticated and legalized, downtown notary can also help with that. Downtown notary can provide you with all three steps notarization, authentication, and legal, legal, legalization. Quickly, quickly and easily, there is no need to make multiple appointments. appointments for each service. We can do it all for you. Common Homeowners Association Deputes in South Florida While the benefits of living in a plant community, community are great problems undoubtedly arise when they do. The attorneys are at Prairie's Moral PA are here to assist you. We represent homeowners facing the following common, uh, common homeowners association disputes or more. Homeowners Association's duty to maintain and repair. Homeowners and condominium, condo, condominium minimum associations in Florida have, to have a duty to maintain their common areas and elements. And unfortunately, associations commonly fa uh, fail to meet their obligations and breach this maintenance duty, resulting in significant damage to people's homes and condominiums. If you are a home or condominium owner facing damage you believe were caused by your associations, we can help our attorneys work with teams of experts, inspectors, contractors and engineers to prove both the cause and true financial extent of, uh, of HOA caused property damage. Our attorneys will work uh, tirelessly to make your HOA pay to repair the damage they have caused. Violations of Homeowners Association Covenants The international management of a mismanagement of your homeowners association may be negatively impacting your financing, peace of mind, home value, and safety. Your HOA may, for example, violate its governing documents by 
failing to maintain common elements and areas, failing to enforce the community's rules and regulations, failing to implement and obey safely regulations, selectively enforcing the community's rules and regulations, issuing, issuance, issuing excessive and or baseless violations and fines. Disputes between neighbors. Although HOAs normally have rules explaining no disputes between neighbors within the community will be handled. Sometimes those in charge, uh, charge do not have the judgment perspectives and sense of, uh, of fairness to settle matters without legal intervention. If you have reached the point where your association is not properly handling your disputes with the neighbor, it may be time to involve a law firm that specialized in HOA disputes such as ours. Discrimination and Harassment whether you and your loved ones are being treated in a documentary manner or harassed by a neighbor, the HOA or a third party such as a character and electrician, electrician working under the auspice of, of the homeowner association such conduct it illegal. Our HOA dispute attorneys are well aware in the federal and state laws protecting your rights and will provide you with aggressive support if you are being targeted and treated unjustly because of your race, uh, thankfully religion, age, gender, sexual or orientation or identity or any other category protected under the law, we are here to help.